This is a start of a series of videos about Kotlin. Kotlin is a programming language that a lot of developers professionally are switching over um, from Java. And yeah, so first off, what is a programming language? So a programming language is a way in which humans communicate to a computer to let the computer know what the human wants to do. Just like how there are different languages for interactions between humans, like you can speak in English, but I've lost in Espanol, there's a lot of different ways that humans use to communicate with each other and it's the same concept uh, there are a lot of different languages that humans can use to communicate to the computer you can use ruby on rails right you can use python um, you can use java you can use kotlin you can use javascript so if you for example if you do something like, you know, if I want to tell the computer to show an alert, I can use JavaScript, which is a language in its own. Um, and then you have Kotlin. And, you know, you probably have dozens, if not hundreds, of other programming languages that humans have invented to talk to a computer and tell it what to do. Um, I'm going to focus on Kotlin today and in the series in general. Um, there are, I've gotten a lot of requests, especially from my. YouTube series on RuneScape botting where a lot of people were more used to using Java and um, they generally wanted more feedback and more of an introduction to how to write Kotlin and you know there's a lot of concepts that I use in Kotlin like data classes, uh, abstraction, object-oriented programming um, and some functional aspects like um, you know like uh, if statements, uh, for loops, sleep untils, um, random next and just like a lot of um, just utility methods that are available in Kotlin um, that folks wanted more background on. So um, yeah, this is going to be a series of videos. I'm just going to be making a bunch of them, every concept I see in my tutorial videos elsewhere. For example, in the RuneScape botting in Kotlin series, I'm actually going to, any concept I feel like it's new, I'm going to uh, add a little video on it, introducing that in Kotlin. Um, and yeah, I want this to be pretty interactive and feedback heavy. So if you have any suggestions or concepts that you don't quite get that you want me to explain in Kotlin, um, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and yeah. Uh, this is the start of a series. Hope you can subscribe and leave a comment on what you'd like to see more.